I've been feeling a sense of nostalgia for life and where it's taking me. I've become so enamored with the presence. The way sunlight feels on a car ride with the windows down, inviting in the love. I would like to say everything feels beautiful, but melancholy in a way that I can't quite explain. My mind runs so fast that I can forget what lies in my heart. I act from a heart-centered space when I feel like my body and mind create a dark cloud hanging over my head. The way I'm designed has a lot to do with intuition, messages from source, and being able to express it in universal terms. When I feel like my words are jumbled, I stray far away from myself and dive into the beauties of nature. Constantly dreaming of a new world. There's some moments that carried my soul when I feel heavy. Yes, these vlogs look fun and romanticized, but in all reality, the moments of sadness and loneliness settle in behind camera. In ways, I balance this lightness, truly because I'm finally blooming out of the winter's dark night of the soul. I go through a high and low in all parts of my days. I see flowers and I daydream of what it would be like to just sit in the beautiful presence and soak in the sunlight. I'm feeling a lot of different things right now in my life and kind of I'm just riding the flow of emotions that's happening in my current reality. I forget to express myself, actually to sit down on camera and talk about how I'm feeling. I feel a little bit weird about it sometimes or feel like it's not really like an open space for me to feel very comfortable and remind myself that's the whole reason why I have a platform to be able to express myself being able to tell my story in a universal term as well for people to be able to understand and connect with me on a much deeper level. I'm also aware that a lot of the lessons that I may be going through could also not resonate to other people and that is completely fine. I'm not here to please anyone. If anything, this is kind of me honoring my inner child and also like the teenager in me. My younger selves looked up to me at this age and at this point in my life and a lot of the things I do is both for the past me and the future me. I'm going through a period in my life where things feel beautiful. Everything also feels a little melancholy. I'm constantly navigating through internal dialogue that sometimes feels like isn't my own. I find myself in a place of deep knowing, yet also knowing nothing. I apply pressure on myself in ways that can both heal and hurt me. I've been crying a lot the past few days and every time I cry I feel much lighter but I also just feel really tired. Uh, you guys can't really tell but I do have eye bags underneath this makeup right now and I look a little bit crazy. Uh, I hate the word crazy because I tend to say it a lot but what I mean to say is that I'm a very highly intelligent and creative woman that sometimes my mind just runs so fast that I can't keep up and the way that I do keep up when I catch it is meditation I go for walks in nature and it just grounds me back into my place and I find myself sometimes running away from the peaceful parts of me and allowing the chaotic loud voices to take over and sometimes a lot of it can be ego talk too 
I'm very well aware of it, but it's hard to not feed into it sometimes, you know? Especially in kind of like the society that we live in and the day and age of social media. It's, it's kind of a lot to take in, but I remind myself at the end of the day that I'm still me regardless of all these thoughts, regardless of all these narratives, these experiences. Like I am still physically in this body. I can still choose peace. I can still choose love. I can choose light in any situation. And that's just how I remain calm, I guess. yourself to relax then how would you come up with the ideas and all of the goals and desires that you have in this life and when you're able to sit with your consciousness you really hear your internal dialogue and sometimes it can really shock you like you're a family where it's like a dynamic between really hard working and then there's the other part that's very in a sense where they just believe that life is nothing but full of fun and like everything is just fun and games. Being able to find a balance between the two has been a little bit challenging. Like when I'm in my fun moments and I don't feel like working, I guess, or being productive, I kind of lose myself in the fun a little bit. And then when I get back to work, it's nothing but work. And then I reach an overdrive and then I ask myself, how did I get here? Why do I feel sick? Why am I so tired? Also, I think moments of silence to yourself, moments of peace where you can really just be an observer, like an outside perspective of what you're doing with your life. Like what are your pure intentions? with whatever you're doing, then is it actually even real to you? Is it something that you're just looking to fulfill a void that you feel inside, or is this actually the true you, you know? I don't know. I guess I had a lot to say this morning. Channel that message into my video. Pushing myself really hard to the point of exhaustion and I know I talked about it in the earlier video but I tend to do it a lot. It becomes kind of like a bad habit of mine to consistently push myself to overdrive and then I just feel extremely drained and sometimes I feel like I can't get my thoughts out properly or they sound very jumbled so I stay off camera for those moments because I know and I'm aware that you know this is the internet and there's a lot of things that of course people put out here but I never want it to come off as if this platform is just me spilling all my feelings because there is so much more to unfold um, on this channel but right now i'm just taking in the time to really be with myself guys i feel like i'm such a terrible vlogger i really don't vlog i think vlogging kind of takes away from my experience sometimes so i just try to I don't know, I guess in the moment whenever I feel like I'm going to say something or have something to say, then I will vlog, but majority of the time, I don't prefer to. I got some flowers today and I went grocery shopping and then I'm gonna do some of my work that I need to do. Luckily, I can work from home, but I can also go to a cafe and go do it because the vibe outside is a little bit gloomy and cloudy and I feel like it's always a nice cafe weather, romanticize your life, you know? I don't know, I'll probably 
bring out the camera again later, but I want to have my own moment, so yeah. Here we are. How do I feel? Well, one, time flies, for sure. Wow, it's been a really crazy year. The lesson that I'm learning in this current time frame is to be able to connect with the people around me and be able to connect with them on a deeper level because I tend to emotionally distance myself a lot uh, just in the fear of someone not being able to understand me fully for what I would want and I let go of that now I tried my best to to let go of that narrative because I know that a lot of it just has to do with you know cultural conditionings and if you find yourself being really harsh and feeling like you're pushing yourself to overdrive I would say take a breath and just pause everything that you're doing and kind of remind yourself why you're doing what you are doing like your why basically what makes you happy what keeps you passionate what fuels your creativity I think these are questions that I tend to ask myself especially when I feel very bogged down or heavy. Oh, um, I really don't feel like I have much to say. <laughs> it's funny because it's definitely the opposite. I have a lot to say and it comes out in the video, but then when it comes to sitting down and talking to the camera, I'm like, what do I talk about? I wanted to just take the time to talk about how things have been feeling for me. And recently, the days have just passed me by that I forget it's 2023. Nothing is permanent and I remind myself this when I have the urge to complete everything I need to do all in one day as if I'm going to lose sight of the future. I embrace the little moments when I feel bitter or as if my guard needs to be up. I remind myself of the gratitude and love that exists in the world. I used to act out of a place of fear, constantly thinking the universe owes me for every mishap or trauma I experienced. But I realized that it's where I was creating my reality. Love will always triumph. There is no light without darkness. I've learned to integrate my dark shadow and embrace it, repressing anger, fear, and any emotion that needs to be let out will eventually cause a physical or mental sickness within you. Your mind is very powerful. Every thought, consciously and subconsciously, will come into reality. I feel gratitude for the unspoken. I see a life full of fruition in front of me. I have found a piece of my soul. I sense comfort, familiarity, and love. I feel my head high in the sky. Things feel like an unfolding of a novel I am writing. I find myself in deep moments in awe of my capability to love and be intimate in the present moment. Every cloud, ray of sunshine and flowers leave a mark on my heart that I can't seem to fathom, but that's the way I would like it to be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you took some lessons that resonated and may you always prosper thank you